So, in an interview with Fred from Barbershop Conversation, shout out to Fred, Errol Spence Jr. was asked about Keith Thurman. Because, you know, Keith Thurman is, is going hard in the paint now for a fight with Errol Spence. Because we know in the past, Keith Thurman, he was, the, he was the man in the division. He was the belt holder. And Errol wanted to smoke. Keith Thurman was like, ah, you ain't really do nothing in the division. And, you know, go do this first. And, you know... You know, until, then you're ready to see one time and all of this stuff. Then things started happening with Keith Thurman. He ended up, um, he had to vacate with the WBC belt. He had to vacate that, I believe, right? Then he got beat by Pacquiao and his WBA was gone. So then now Keith Thurman is beltless. He's no longer a champion. Now Errol Spence is the man in the division, the, the, the major belt holder in the division. Now Keith Thurman is scrambling, trying to get back in the mix. And now Errol, you know, uh, played the reverse on him now. And, and he don't want nothing to do with Keith Thurman. He said that fight ain't happening. He not even thinking about Keith Thurman. How do I feel about it? Uh, look, I, I feel like this, man. Errol should take on the smoke. Just if if he feel look like look man, I've been wanting to knock this dude out or beat on beat up on him for a long time. You know what? Let him let let I ain't gonna I ain't gonna I ain't gonna I ain't gonna do what he did to me. Come on over here and get this smoke. I mean, let me beat you the fuck up and send you back to fucking clear water. You know whatever. You know so I think he should just take the fight or like as a as a title defense man for his belts. Um, not yet though. I don't want to see Keith Thurman yet. I don't want to see that fight before Terrence Crawford. I want to see the Terrence Crawford fight first. And then if Errol beats Terrence Crawford and now Errol's undisputed, then I want to see Keith Thurman fight uh, Errol Spence as a title defense. And then maybe Boots give Boots Ennis a try, a run at the title. And then Errol, Errol leaves the division, goes to the, starts his career at 154. That's what I think he should do, man. But unfortunately, we don't know if that's what's going to happen. I don't think he's ever gonna fight Keith Thurman. If it was me, if I was Arrow, I would have said, like, let me, let me, let me beat him up. Let me beat up on him. I only want to knock him out. Let me just beat him down for 12 rounds if he lasts that long. I think Keith Thurman is still is still a good contender. I think he's still in the mix, man. But it don't look like Arrow is even gonna give him the time of day, man. So the best bet for Keith Thurman, I guess, will be to try to get a bug fight again. Or Ugas. It's really nothing left else for Keith Thurman to do, man. It's not, there's nowhere for him to go. Only way he'll get a chance to be a champion to get that 147 is if Arrow, he moves up, vacates, and then he can scramble. And he got these other guys scrambling to fight for the belts. But at that point, he won't even have it. Arrow will be gone already. And Keith, if he's still at 147, Bud will probably be gone or probably be still there. He can probably fight Bud then, fight Bud. Or Keith gonna end up probably having to scrap it out with the young bulls coming up, probably like a Virgil Ortiz, Jerron Ennis. He probably gonna scrap it out with them. Go for Jamal James, get that regular belt off of Jamal James, something. Um, but Arrow is insistent on not fighting Keith Thurman. I, me personally, I I think he should fight him. But Arrow, I guess he he's holding he's holding. He's, he's holding on to that shit because I guess he really wanted to fight Keith Thurman. I kind of look at this shit like, you know, damn. You know, like when you when you growing up, you see a girl flies, bro, and you want to talk to her, and she just wasn't giving you the time of day. And then all of a sudden, you know, um, you the man now. You got money. You looking fly. Back then, you ain't have much. You ain't have nothing that she really was interested in. Now... She see you riding around in a Bentley. <laughs> she see your house. She see you looking good, fresh cut, groomed up, smelling good. And now she want to come holler at you. Now you like, eh, take a, take a back seat, man. I'm good. You know, it's, it's, it's just like that, man. It's just like that. I, I kind of understand where we're coming from. But, man, fuck that, man. It's boxing, man. Anybody that wanted could get it. That's just how my mentality is. If you wanted, you could get it. I don't care if you... If you a fuck, if you green and you knew you are you are up and coming, I'll knock you out too. Or you're old head in boxing, I'll knock you out too. Any of y'all want to come get it? I wish he had that kind of uh, mentality. Who knows? Maybe he'll change his stance on that. But let me know what you think about that. What you think about Keith Thurman, Errol Spence saying he'll never 
ever fight Keith Thurman. This is Rebel Life, man. I'll catch y'all later on the next one. Peace out.